What bullshit is gonna happen now? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Bro, you good? You good, bro? We're back. As you can see, today we're playing a game called Tangles. Now in this game, I believe we're a military soldier that woke up from a coma on a military base that's now deserted. So we must have been in a coma for a long time for the whole base to be to be deserted now, you know? So that sounds like an interesting plot for a game to me. So I don't want to waste too much time. We're going to get right into the video. Let's do it. All right, let's see what this game takes us, man. I am Basil. My story begins with an end and ends with a beginning. I was part of a team of eight soldiers chosen to participate in a mysterious mission in an abandoned camp. Okay. On the first week of our arrival, I suffered a serious injury during training and fell into a coma. I fought death during that time and I couldn't remember anything except hearing my comrades fighting death on the other side. I would hear their screams from time to time Damn. until silence filled the place. I had no idea how much time had passed during my coma. It is certainly not a short time. But okay. my story didn't end there. It had just begun. Alright. That sounds that sounds crazy, man. So I think I think we're just now waking up from the coma, right? This is our first. Or how long have I been in bed? Okay, explore the place. My first thought is um Damn, okay. What is this? There's a tear in the mattress. My first thought is how you ain't die of hunger if you were in a coma for that for that long, you know? To the friend of yesterday and the enemies of the future, Basil, I know you will read this letter after I have left you alone, but I have no other choice. I left the camp after learning the bitter truth, a truth you are yet to discover, one that will weigh heavy on your heart as the years pass. I was supposed to leave you here to die, but harsh reality shows me that it won't happen. Even if I tried, I feel a wildness that pushes me to let you endure the pain, yet I know you will carry the burden of those events in your heart for years to come. I leave you this letter as a sign of what happened. You don't understand it now, but you will surely understand it later. I have no choice but to leave you here, in this dark island, in this cursed camp. We will meet again, but in what manner? I don't understand. Okay. I, that still weighs the question. How did you... Like, did somebody feed you or something this whole time? Like, how did you survive hunger? Behind every hour lies... Hours. Behind every hour lie hours? Alright. Alright, let's explore some... Can we open these lockers, man? It's locked. The lockers are locked. All right. All right, can we leave? We can leave. The door ain't locked. Okay, we got some thunder. Damn. Can we pick up a light? What's that noise? Who are they? That's probably my uh that's probably my 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 uh my platoon, my soldier members, my squad, you know? Anything else in here for us? No. All right, let's go out this door now. Yo! Oh. The rain suddenly stopped. Who is that? Who is that guy? What the hell? Who? Cr I hear somebody crying. We can run. Is he crying? Who's crying? What the hell? It must be the exit from this place. All right, that's the exit. It sounds like somebody's crying in these containers. That's kind of weird. Yo, you good? I don't know where they're crying from. All right, let's check all these doors before we do anything. This is a nice little uh, military vehicle. Uh, is this door openable? No. All right, let's see what this gate we're working with. Gate is closed. I might be able to open it through the control room. It looks like the control the control room locked. Oh, there we go. Now we can open it. I think the door is locked with a key card control device. But I doubt I'll be able to use it with the power outage. Get in the control room. I think it can be fixed. All right, so we need I guess to. I need to search around to find useful item. All right, we need to find something to fix the control room door. Can we get in here? 
Yes, we can. Let's do it. I like the graphics of this game, too. I really fuck with it. All right, we got some electrical tape. This tape might be useful. Is that all that's over here? That might be. That's, that might be all we need. You know. One fuse is missing. Oh, we need a fuse. Okay. To get. In, oh, what does this say? Finally, I found some time to write in this memo. It has been a long and exhausting day. I had to fix some electrical equipment that broke down after the weird things that happened two days ago. But there is one thing that bothers me. One of the fuses that is needed for the electricity efficiency has disappeared. I learned that the security guard took it and didn't return it. I would like to report this problem to my commander, but he's too busy preparing for the next mission. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow. Until then, I'll leave this memo here in case the security guard comes back and wants to return the fuse. If anyone is reading this note, please don't mess with any of the equipment here. This equipment is very sensitive and dangerous if used incorrectly. I can't think of a logical reason for the security guard to take the fuse. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding, or maybe there's something bigger and more evil going on. I hope, to, I hope to find out the truth before it's too late. All right. So the damn stupid guard took the fuse. I don't know how long ago this was, because we've been in coma for a long time, so. Let's see if this electrical tape can fix the, uh, the power, the power shit, you know? There we go. Use. Did it work? I think it worked, man. Yes. What's that sound? I hear a sound in there. I need a key card. It sounds like somebody's singing or something in there. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Yo! Is that the radio? Alright, we need a key card. Let's find a key card. Uh, I don't think it was back here. Oh, can we like... Oh, what is that? Can we like grab that key? I don't think we can. Alright. Uh... Is there a key card back here? I don't think so. We gotta walk around a little bit more, huh? Or maybe we gotta find a fuse to open this door and the key card's back there, you know? So let's walk around. Let's do some let's do some digging. We gotta investigate. Can we open this door now? Yes we can. Yo! What the hell? The steam is blocking my way. I need to find a way to stop the steam flow. All right, we need to find a way to stop the steam, the, the guy said. Uh, what happens if I walk? Oh, we can't walk in, so. How do we stop the steam? That's the fuse over there, too. Oh, yeah, we need that fuse, man. All right, let's find something to stop the steam. Do we need, like, uh... What do we need to stop the steam? What, what can we use? Let's go back. Let's go back. To where I woke up, maybe. Oh, can we go in here? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. Uh, a little, a little lake or some shit. Pond. There's definitely gonna be some shit over here. I know it. History, truth, dreams. Read. I never imagined that our trip would turn into a nightmare. I was enjoying my stay in the camp, despite the fact that it was on a remote and lifeless island. I came with my colleagues to do our dirty, our duty towards the country. And we saw it as a great opportunity to learn something new and get away from the pressures of the city. But what happened recently was quite the opposite, as unusual things began to appear on the island. Some of my colleagues complained about losing some of their belongings, and some of them said that they saw and heard strange things in the middle of the night. I did not believe them at first, and I thought they were exaggerating until I, until I myself witnessed a terrifying incident last night. I heard some noises and scary screams in the basement that is used as a prison in the camp. Ah, hell no. Nah. I went to see what was happening, but I found the basement door locked with the chain. I was so afraid I did not dare to open it, so I quickly went back to my room and tried to sleep. When I woke up in the morning, I found a leak in the steam room, but the problem is not there. But that the valve I need to stop the flow of steam has disappeared. And if I do not find it soon, there might be damage and loss losses in the camp. I searched for it everywhere without success. I do not know who took it. Does the chaos that happened last night have anything to do with its disappearance? I tried to ask for help from the commander and tell him everything and happened, that happened, but I did not see him since last night. I wish I could get out of this island before I go crazy or something bad happens to me. Okay, so we need to find a, uh, a valve? I can plug a valve in oh, here. Oh, okay, we need to plug a valve in right here. If he can't find it, why do you think I'm going to find it? Uh, a kitchen knife. What can we do with a kitchen knife? Um, is there something that we can cut open, or? 
or cut in general over here it don't look like it I think we explored everything over here so um let's go back let's go back that's the room we came from right yeah let's look around for something we can open up with this knife we can go back in here first see if there's anything new in here Oh my goodness. Where did corpse come from? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? What the hell? Why is there a hanging corpse right here? Uh, Can we do anything? Can we like cut him down or something? Is that what the knife is for? Somebody. Damn. That's crazy. All right. Is there anything new in here? I don't know what's going on right here. We still can't open the locker. Oh, we can. Can we cut the bed open? A guard's card. Okay, we got the key card. I didn't expect to find the guard's card in here. Oh, we got the key card. Let's go back to the door. To the key. To the uh, the locked key card door. All right, let's put this key card in the door. Private security license. All right, let's do it. It's key card accepted is working. We good. Yo. Anybody in here? No, nobody. Okay. Uh, let's read this. I can't sleep. Something inexpl inexplicable happened. It was a normal night like any other night. I was in the control room watching Lost and drinking tea. When it was midnight, I saw something in the steam room through the monitors. I wasn't sure what it was, so I left the control room and went to the steam room. When I entered the steam room, I didn't find any anything strange, but I heard some weird noises behind me but the room was empty. Suddenly, I heard the door closing hard behind me. I went to the door and tried to open it, but it was locked so tightly I couldn't get out. I felt panic and fear. I didn't know what happened, so I shouted at the top of my voice hoping someone would help me. Then I heard a sound from the outside as, as someone was, was pulling out the fuse to disable the door. Damn. Lock. Then the door opened and I ran to the control room and didn't look behind me. I have no explanation for what happened and I don't know what, who closed the door and who helped me, but it's something that can't be ignored. Okay. I suspect the crazy geologist, for he may have something to do with what happened. Or he may be telling the truth in, in his explanations of everything that happens. But what I do know is that this camp is not safe anymore. Since we arrived at the camp, strange things keep happening. I'll keep this note here in case something happens to me. Okay, so this camp is fucking hunted. Is what I'm knowing. And we see that with the body and shit that, that was hanging. That wasn't hanging at first. Alright, we got a locker key. Uh, let's go. Let's go open that locker, man. Why the music change? Did something change here? All right. When I open this door, I heard some. I heard something different going on on the radio. I ain't got nothing to do with me. All right. Let's let's open this locker. All right. The body's still there. Nothing crazy happening. Oh my goodness. Where are these bodies coming from, bro? What the fuck? First we got the nigga hanging. Now we got the body. Oh my. Yeah, let's open this locker. Uh, The key. We got some boat cutters. I don't know what's going on. Why there's bodies keep on showing up randomly, but hey. This body's still here. All right, let's see what we can. Oh. Surround me from everywhere. What is going on? That's crazy. There's this body showing up out of nowhere. We got boat cutters though. I don't know I what we can do. The basement. How do I get to the basement? Uh, the music is changing. All right, the bullshit's happening now. It's about that time. Where did the boat cutters go? Is there a body in here? No, there isn't. Oh, we can pull this. Let's do that. I guess the lever is useless with the unstable electricity. But I might find a way to keep the electricity stable. Find the electricity box. Alright, electricity box. Where could that be? Could be in here? Maybe? Next to the fuse or something? It ain't gonna be that simple, huh? 
All right. Um, there's only a few more places we can check. We can check. We can check in this, in this, in this uh, area. Where's the body at? The fuck being this thick. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Oh, what's over here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> What the fuck? What's going? <laughs> What's going on in this camp, man? No one is inside the vehicle. Oh, no one's inside the vehicle. What the hell? Either I'm crazy, like in the video game, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going on if I'm not crazy. All right, boat cutters, use. All right, let's see what's down here. Yep, another <laughs> body. What's going on? No. What's that? Who's that? Yo! Is he the same guy I saw in the window? That what might be. Here? That might be. All right, that 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 door's openable. And there's a body right here. A paint. I mean, a uh, thing. A warplane crashes on a deserted island, killing the pilot. May twenty eighth, nineteen sixty eight. In a tragic incident, a jet belonging to the National Air Force crashed on a deserted island located in a remote area of the sea, killing the pilot who was flying it. According to the official sources, the jet was on a military mission over the camp that is located on the island, which has been witnessing violent clashes, crashes with the rebels. The cause of the crash is not yet clear, but there are suspicions that it may have come under fire from one of the warring factions. The Army General Command announced an investigation into the incident mourning the pilot and praising his bravery and sacrifices in defense of the country. They stress that this incident will not deter them from continuing to fight the rebels and maintain security and stability in the country, expressing condolences to the pilot's family and colleagues. All right. Well, let's go in this door. It's the only door we can go in down here. All right, no escape. Truth. We got a note. Is that all we got? All right, let's read the note. Damn, how many pages is there? Discovering the truth, the more mysterious it becomes. I came to this island to do my duty as a soldier and as and as a geologist, but it has been a month since I was arrested by my commander, who accuses me of spreading rumors and myths among the soldiers and affecting their morale. They locked me in a dark, cold cell, not allowing me to communicate with anyone. They took away all my weapons, my uniform, and my identity, leaving me with only this note and a pen. It's been three days since I last saw a guard coming to my cell. No one gave me food or water and I felt dehydrated and weak. I'm afraid to die of hunger and thirst in this dark place. What happened to everyone in the camp? Did they leave? Or perhaps they all disappeared like all the others? Yes. When I was doing ge geological measurements at C2 area, I accidentally detected extraordinary fluctuations in the camp's electromagnetic field. Fluctuations far beyond normal limits. After many measurements, I have concluded that this camp is located above a very strong electromagnetic field, and this field causes disturbance in time, causing some strange phenomena, such as the appearance of things that do not belong to this t time in the form of flashes that occur randomly in different places of the island. These flashes are only reflections of events from the pa recent past, allowing for a partial transfer of a matter and energy between time and space, but randomly and unstable for a few seconds. I saw some type of flash. I saw some of these flashes with my own eyes and I was terrified and surprised. I have personally seen corpses of soldiers from old wars and I have also seen a warplane flying over the island. Strange sounds at light and lights heard and seen at night and things moving from one place to another for no apparent reason. I have a lot of questions so I decided to share my findings with my colleagues and ask them to help answer those questions. But they did not believe me and reported me to the commander who came to me and ordered me to be taken away by force. He said that I was spreading rumors and causing panic among the soldiers, that I was obstructing the performers of our mission, and then he threw me into the cell, and here, I'm, and here I am now, trapped in this dark place with no hope of salvation. I don't know what happened to my colleagues or to those who disappeared. Maybe they are in another place at another time, or maybe it was, it was me who disappeared. Okay, so this note is the guy that was in here, I guess. And they thought he was crazy, so they locked him in, they, you know? They thought he was crazy, they locked, they locked him in a cell. All right, did anything change out here? No? We got the body. We can open this door. Let's open it. This is where that figure uh, went went down, so... Hey, let's do it. I see another hanging body. All right, let's do it. 
Another hanging body alert. I think the body was recently hung. The body was recently hung? What the hell? How recently? Well, are we talking like a few minutes or like a, a few days? Because if it's a few days, I can I can do it. You know, I, I can I can work with that. A few minutes. You know, that might be. Oh, we got a valve. All right. What is this? Cool. I can't pull the lever. There is an electrical problem. An electrical problem? Is there an electrical box down here? Maybe. No electrical box. Uh. All right, we can put the valve on the thing now. Let's do that. Is there anything new out here? Maybe. The body's still there. Oh, uh, uh, I just heard a knocking noise. Where's that knocking noise coming from? Oh, what's Is going on? Knocking the door. It sounds like it, don't it? Is somebody back there? It's like it's like concreted up. I can't see back there. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going on? What is going on? Don't do this to oh me, game. God, what is happening to me? Yeah, what's happening to me? Let's leave. I don't know what's going on. What the hell? Oh my goodness! <laughs> what's going on, man? <laughs> was that a vision? Did I just have a vision of leaving this place? Yeah, I must have. P I must have PTSD or something. That might be what's going on, man. All right, we do got a valve. Let's run back, put this valve in. See what's going on. I have the valve now. What should I do next? Uh, put the valve in a thing. Stupid. Where do we put it at, though? Uh. Okay, I remember. The valve goes over here. All right. I believe it goes over here. In this in this part yeah what's that noise valve go in do we turn it all right so now the uh, the steam is stopped we should be good to grab that fuse and you know we're on our merrily way I still refuse to believe that we're the only ones in this camp some bullshit is happening Oh, wrong way. This way. Anything new in here? No? Alright, let's grab this fuse. Let's read this note. If you are reading this, I am one of the technicians here. I wanted to inform you that the circuit breaker here is not working, not only because it's broken, but also because the electrical loads in this camp have reached unprecedented levels. Since the basement was built under the camp, the electrical loads have begun to increase like crazy. With every operation of devices and systems, we notice a decrease in the stability of the electricity. The circuit breaker is not able to handle these high loads and it result its frequencies, outages, and disruptions in the supply of electricity. Things are getting worse by the day. And this poses a big challenge for, <clears throat> for the electrical team, so we may find ourselves in complete darkness soon if things continue like this. We are doing our best to address the problems, but it seems that the cutter needs to be improved and developed to suit these loads. Our loads should be reduced by turning off electricity when not needed. If you know of any solutions or suggestions that help us improve the situation, we are waiting to hear from you. And until then, you should be prepared for sudden power outages. <clears throat> all right. Is that all we need to do in here? We got the fuse. Let's go. Oh! Who is here? What the fuck? I'm trying to talk to y'all and bullshit happening. Yeah. Who here, man? I know I'm not the only one here. Y'all niggas need to stop playing jokes and tricks and, and shit like that. All right, let's put the fuse in. Right here. All right, fuse has been plugged. All right, those are all, that's the one that was in here. Oh. I have to go back to the control room. I think the lever is working now. Okay, so yeah, we have to pull that lever in there and then the lever in the basement, right? We gotta go back to that damn basement, man. Fuck. Alright, so is that door open now? No, only half of it is open. There is huge pressure on electricity. I have to find a way to reduce the electricity usage. 
Reduce the pressure of electricity. So do I have to go to the one in the basement now? And pull that, maybe? What is this? This looks uh, electrical. Right? Anything over here? Let's go to the basement and pull that pull that one down. Maybe maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Maybe not. What a long night. Yeah, it has been a long night. Oh. Whoa. Am I going crazy? Oh my goodness. We can see feet. We can see some feet. All right. Uh, let's continue. Let's pull this one. That's Fuck. Not good. No. What happened? Okay, so that's what we need to do. We need to pull this, turn this off, and that reduces the load, right? No. What the fuck? Was he still alive or something? I don't know what's going on, man. What bullshit is gonna happen now? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? How did that happen to Oh him? my goodness. Bro, you good? You good, bro? Is, is this like a... What is this thing that... I don't know what this is. What the fuck is going on? Why is his eyes blue? Uh... I don't know, but... I don't... Okay, we gonna leave. We gonna turn the other trigger on. Or the other, uh... We're gonna, we're gonna pull the other lever and hopefully it turns on whatever it needs to turn on, you know? All right. I'm surprised the body ain't in here yet. All right, there we go. We got the gate open. We got the gate open. Oh my goodness, man. We, we be making so much progress. No. This man is suspicious. No. What the fuck? No, another body. Is it safe for me to go out now? Another body. Where that man at? We escaped? Did we escape? Did we escape that crazy man? That boy was dropping bodies like flies. I don't want to be around him. I think we escaped though. We completed the journey. Completion time 30 minutes. Almost 30 minutes on the dot, man. Man, that was Tangles. That was actually a very good game. I give that like a 9 out of 10. And I'm dead serious. That was a very good game. The atmosphere was on point. Everything on, on that about that game was on point. And the game is fucking free. You can't really beat it. That game, that's a free game on Steam. So yeah. I give Saham Studios. That is that their name? Saham Studios. I give them. They, hey, they get a they, they get a thumbs up in my book. I really like this game. So yeah, man, that was Tangles. One of the better games I've played on the channel so far. Yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Do whatever y'all do on the YouTube streets. And I'm out.